Forward go, forward go, forward go. Get down, get down, get down. Back on the job, back paddle. And forward, go. Oh my God, yeah. Back paddle, all back. Stop, oh, here comes another one. Ah! Yeah, paddle line five, we're alive. Wow. <laughs> In times of increasing environmental change, growing demand for water, and people who don't have access to wild healthy nature, what will the future of the Tuolumne River be like in 10, 50, or 100 years? Many people are working to protect this river, including biologists, nonprofits, river guides, state and federal agencies, artists, and more. In the wild section of the Tuolumne River, the river rangers working for the U.S. Forest Service are also part of this effort. Starting before the sun rises, rangers go to the boathouse to meet volunteers who want to participate in a resource project. They organize volunteers, scientists, and bring land managers out of the office and into the river canyon. They patrol the river to protect the resources of the canyon for future generations, as well as assisting people to enjoy their trip and get down the river safely. Enough about the rangers, tell me more about the river. The headwaters of the Tuolumne River start at what's left of Lyle Glacier on the crest of the Sierra in Yosemite National Park. It tumbles through steep granite gorges and gains power as more water joins from its other tributaries. Still flowing strong in the forested canyons, this wild river eventually slows to a meander before it reaches its confluence with the San Joaquin River. 100 years ago, it saw salmon, steelhead, grizzlies, black bears, lions, wolves, elk, antelope, eagles, and more. Imagine the bounty seen by the Miwok and Yokut people who live nearby. Then, as if time sped up, with the introduction of gold mining, dam construction, irrigation, and an ever-thirsty, growing population, much has changed for the river and its native communities since then. Today, the canyon and river is renowned for its spectacular scenery and world-class whitewater. Boaters come from all over the world to enjoy and be challenged by the whitewater flowing through the steep canyons of this truly wild and scenic river. Also, the Tuolumne irrigates farms in the Central Valley, provides water to cities in Central California, the San Francisco Bay Area, and is a foundation for local economies who benefit <laughs> economically on a global scale. Like otters in the water, the river rangers are always moving. One recent project was to raise funds to improve the launch site at Merrill's Pool, the primary access point for boaters of the wild and scenic section of the Tuolumne River. It used to have difficult and somewhat dangerous narrow trails to the water until a group of dedicated volunteers helped the rangers rebuild and upgrade the put-in for less than $30,000. This successful community project paved the way for people to safely gain access and enjoy the river. This type of ethical action is common among river people. What can you do to help this river? Here's three ways to get involved today.
The Wards Ferry Recreation Area is being relicensed now. We need reasonable and safe river access now, or it may be another 40 years before another opportunity to improve access for everyone arises. Currently, the hot, dangerous, and strenuous takeout is often the memory that first comes to mind when folks recall this amazing river experience. It makes it difficult for them to try it again. Without reasonable and safe access to the river, most folks won't have a connection with it. Who will protect this river for future generations if few experience the magic and beauty of the river? Access for everyone at Wards Ferry is possible, but only if people who care about this river get involved now. Become part of the solution. Contact the BLM California State Director and make your voice heard today. This year's mudslides are evidence of a rapidly changing ecosystem. On these affected south-facing slopes, the vegetation and soil have begun to erode down to the bedrock. If this continues to worsen, the habitat on the canyon slopes could be lost forever. Volunteers come to the canyon to try and help stop the worst of the invasive weed problems associated with the mudslides. Studies necessary to document this degradation are in the works and supported by dedicated people. If we want a healthy river in the future, we have to start work today. The river needs more friends. Get involved in any way you can. Show up and get in feet first. Enjoy the water and trust that the river will guide you to where you can help the most. Look out! A big rapid! Sometimes the beauty of the river can make you forget its powerful force. It's always exciting on the river, but this is all in a day's work from river rangers of the Tuolumne River. Let's load up the gear, drive home, make repairs, buy more food, and get ready for another river trip. See you on the river! Follow the river rangers as they work to take care of the river canyon, the people who experience it, and inspire the next generation of river protectors along the way. This episode of Downstream Effects was brought to you by Human Productions. You have just been voluntold. Now let's get to work. Stop. Forward. Ooh. Forward hard. Go, 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 go. Over left, over left, over left. Good job. Stop. Hey. Woo! Rush. Lean left. Get down. Lean left. Woohoo! Woo back paddle. All back. Okay, get down. Lean right. Back on the ch Oh shit. Stop. Get down. 